Hi, this is Darren Ike, author of Innovation Step by Step. And what skills should you focus on developing in your life? Why should you focus on learning innovation or developing your innovation skills or even doing an innovation program to help you to do that? Well, one reason why is because what is needed for our changing world and our changing world of work are some critical skills. I've looked at a number of research reports and there are five critical skills that keep coming up. These are skills like critical thinking or problem solving. Can you identify the problems that you might be able to solve and see things uh, in detail and deconstruct them? Can you do strategic thinking? Can you have a future vision? Can you create a strategy that fits with you or your organization for the future? Can you exercise creativity? Can you generate ideas? Can you develop ideas? Can you use design thinking to design something better that might be even different and new? Collaboration, you can't do this alone, you need help. Do you have uh, positive relationships? How do you have positive relationships with others? How do you network and utilize your network so that you can do more together and collaborate and have teamwork and partnerships? And then also communication. This is kind of the hard work, right? If you're going to create an innovation or a change or something meaningful, sometimes people don't understand it because it's new. So you have to work hard to help them understand and also influence them to take positive action. And then when you bring all of these skills together, I think you'll be quite excited, right? Because, wow, you're leveraging the skills that are needed most for our future. And this all together becomes leadership, leadership skills, where you'll have the skill not only to do these things on your own, but facilitate it with others. You'll be able to not only grow innovation, but grow innovators in your world and in your organization. You'll be able to coach and train innovators. You'll be able to facilitate the innovation process. You'll be able to lead brainstorming sessions, and you'll be able to cultivate an innovation culture. So it kind of keeps happening. So those are the critical skills I'd focus on developing. So where do you start? What are the building blocks? How do you start to do this? How do you start to make these steps up to new levels? Well, I think the key is, is how do you build your skills to create and develop ideas with others? Because when you do that, you're leveraging a lot of these skills like critical thinking, problem solving, creativity, collaboration, communication, strategic thinking, leadership. Well, a great way to build your skills is actually through doing something, doing something real. So in our courses and programs, we guide you through innovation activities, tools and techniques, and you get to work on your real innovation project, something that's real, something that's meaningful to you, a challenge that you get to pick that you'd like to generate ideas for. So it's helpful to have a guide to help you to do that, whether that's a book or a course or a program or a workshop, and to make that effective. And that will help you to take your skills to the next level. And if you're interested in learning more about these research reports from IBM, from the World Economic Forum, from Bloomberg, from the American Management Association, about what are the skills that we need most in our workforce, uh, the skills that are highly desired but hard to find, skills that if you were to focus in on them, on developing them and learning them, that could be really valuable for your career and your ability to make meaningful change in our world too. Uh, we have a blog post about that at innovationtraining.org slash innovation skills for the future.